Struck out seven. Pokey Reese goes down. Alvarez, though, said after the game, he learned one thing. He's going to have to throw a lot of fastballs to succeed in the National League. Kent Merkin did it with his glove. Look at that. Robbing Daryl Hamilton. Watch it again. Worth another look. Great reflex work there by Merkin. Giants up 7-2 in the sixth. Alvarez in a dicey situation. He walked two, and then Willie Green, three-run home run. His 16th of the year. Now 7-5. Giants up two. Roberto Hernandez also acquired from the White Sox his Giants debut. Eduardo Perez grounds when Hernandez tries to backhand it. Can't hold on. Hernandez would stay in the game. Next man up, Reggie Sanders. Been troubled by injuries all year, but here is two-run home run. His 10th of the year. It's now 8-7. Giants holding on. They're up one. Lenny Harris up 8-7 in the ninth. Two out. Rod Beck in. And J.T. Snow. Tags out Harris to end the game as the Giants hang on to win 8-7. Alvarez the win even though he gave up five runs and one out. 16 miles per hour at Wrigley Field. The balls were flying out all over the place. Todd Zeal, three-run home run. He drove in four. His 22nd home of the game, 7-0 Dodgers. Todd Hollinsworth, three for five, drives in three. Here, Mondesi scores. Zeal's going to try to score. We have a developing situation at the plate, and Zeal is in there. It's 10-1 L.A. Today on Nomo gives up a two-run home run to Sandberg here, sixth of the year for Rhino. Nomo gave up three homers in the game, but the next man up, Nomo strikes out Ray Sanchez. He struck out seven, and the Dodgers win at 13-9. Nomo gave up seven runs, still got the win. His first since July the 11th. 20 hits for the Dodgers, who have won seven straight. The Dodgers and Giants are in a... Kevin Polkovich, a shot to left. Bichette fields it. Jason Kendall tries to score from first. Bichette, for some reason, throws to second. Run scores. Pirates up 2-1. Top of the fourth. Rockies down 5-2. Bichette's at the plate. Hits a hard grounder to Joe Randa. Diving stop. Punts once. Fires from his knees. And Bichette is out, barely. Top of the sixth tied at five. Runner on third. Nephi Perez, the bunt towards first. No one covering. Perez safe. McCracken scores. Rockies up 6-5. Bottom seven, same score. Kevin Young, Thursday's hero. Loop single to the right. Jermaine Allensworth scores. Six all. Larry Walker. Solo home run here with a game tied at six in the ninth. Solo home run makes it 7-6 Rocks. Second home of the game for Walker, 32nd of the year. East. Looking for some action. Bobbles a grounder, but quickly recovers and makes the play. Fort Tatis, this time on Matt Williams. And look at that foul territory, the long throw. Great play. Top of the eight, 5-4 Rangers. Bases empty for Williams. Long home run to left. Second of the game, 25th on the year. We're tied at five. Later in the eighth, two runners on for Omar Vizquel. Single to center. Jim Tomey comes in to score. Indians take a 6-5 lead, and they go on to win 8-5. Homer's also in the game for Ramirez, Tomey, and Fernandez. The Indians rounder to Pat Mears. And Mears makes the play. Bottom of the fourth, Derek Jeter. But he... Uh... The Mears bobbles a ball. Whoop. Peter is safe. Plug gates would open for the Yanks. Two batters later, Bernie Williams just off the DL. First game since July 14th. He had two hits. This is a double. Five runs would score for the Yanks in the inning, and they go up by the count of five to nothing. The newest Yankee, Pete Incavilla. Yankee debut, he went three for four, single to right. Yanks would add three more in this inning. In the sixth, they go on to win 8-3. Yanks get five in the fourth, and he pet it the win, even though he did allow a career high 13 hits and eight guys there. Slocum and Timlin, Spoiler Jack, made the trip to Milwaukee as well. Ken Griffey Jr. in the first against Cal Eldred. Cal Eldred take two. Dave Nilsson with the great grab. Jerry Burnitz, man on second, gone. Two run homer in 17th of the season. Two nothing Brewers. They scored six runs in the second. Baroness D. Better than her pitching. Matt Mieske's blooped to right. Robbed by the sliding Jay Buter. Brewers had an answer for Griffey's line drive from the fourth with the man on first. Nilsson is there for the unassisted DP. Junior could not believe it. Brewers win at 8-3. Cal Eldred take three. Gives up two hits in seven innings. Brewers have down he goes in his first at bat as a Blue Jay. But top six, 5-4 Detroit. Cruz again, gone with a man on. His 13th home run of the year. Just like that, the Jays are up 6-5. Top of the eighth. Cruz again. 
strikes out for the third time in the game. Bottom nine, Jays up 7-5. There's the new closer, Kelvin Escobar, beat out Timlin. On for his sixth save, James Orlando. Miller with a fastball, and Duncan clips the first for the final out. And the Jays win it by the final score. Brown, he had seven Ks through the first three innings. Down goes Jeff Blau. Bottom four, bases empty. Michael Tucker in the field. Edgar Renteria was the batter. Catch or not. It was initially ruled the trap. Tucker says, I caught it. Eventually, the call is ruled an out, and that looks actually a good call. Next batter, still no one on, Sheffield. First career homer against Maddox in 31 at bats, 13th of the year, Marlins up one zip. Top of the eighth, bases loaded, one out, tied at one. Chipper Jones, grounded a second. Renteria gets it, but he's off the bag. Keith Lockhart scores, but Lofton's called out at home for going out of the baseline, so the Braves are up 2-1. Lofton, don't count that run. Bottom eight, runners on first and second, two outs. Devon White, base hit off of Wollers. Run comes in to score, and it's now tied at two. We go to the top of the 12. Pitcher Dennis Cook comes in as a pinch hitter. He's three for three on the year as a hitter. Jim Leland must know something we don't, because Cook can hit. Greg Zahn's on third, and he comes in to score the winning run. Dramatic victory for Florida. 3-2 over the Braves in Fijo. What in the world is he doing? <laughs> Bobby Valentine says, what do we have? Biggio into that deep clout, deep clout. Uh, we don't know why. Did it work? Well, Biggio would end up flying out. Bottom of the fifth, Astros down 2-1. Biggio in the normal stance. Normal stance working. Two-run home run is 15th of the year, and the Astros go up by the score. A three to two. Bottom nine, two out. Throws down one. Gutierrez grounds it to third. Alfonso, too low. Back goal scores to tie the game at four. Tenth inning, it's 5-4 Mets. Alfonso says, I'll get even here. Doubles to left. Two runs come in to score. Mets up 7-4, and they go on to win by the final count of 8-5. So the Mets do it again. First at bat, down he goes. Top of the six, 2 nothing. fills. Two out. The line of the Shields on third. McGuire up again, and he grounds out to third as Scott Rowland makes the play. Bottom seventh, 2-1 fills. Mickey Morandini on first. Venice against Greg Jeffries. And that's a base hit. Morandini scores all the way from first, and the fills go on to win by the final score of 4-1. Cards now have lost four in a row. McGuire 0 for 3 with a walk. Two RBIs for Jeffries. The Phils have won four in a row. Against the White Sox, Scott Ayer in his first Major League start because Wilson Alvarez had been traded away, and Tim Salmon welcomes him with a two-run single to right center field, and the Angels are up 3-0. Salmon with four RBIs in the night. Top of the fourth, two on, nobody out. Bell facing Alan Watson, rips it, but Dave Holland snares it, dives to the bag, and gets Robin Ventura. And Watson gets out of the inning unscathed. Bottom of the fourth, one on, two out. Darren Erstad against Ayer. Erstad crushes it deep to right. The two-run homer, his 11th. The Angels up 6-0. Six, six runs, six hits, five walks off air and four and a third. Top of the seventh, Watson facing Dave Martinez. Watson dominating the game, striking out Martinez. Watson had seven strikeouts, and the Angels win this one. Nine nice or A's fans not happy with the departure of Mark McGuire. Not happy with their offense either. 26 innings without a run after the ground ball by Matt Stairs. Fly ball, deep left field. This is Lesser Geronimo Barroa hitting it deep to left field Soto. and out. Number the home run for year. Barroa, his 21st of the year, and that gives the O's a 1 0 lead. Scott Erickson, the throwaway the there in the sixth of a 1 0 game. Erickson throwing away Ernie Young's bunt ties the game at one. That here. is Angie Hamilton Ron watching her hubby Joey second. get the, the double first. play ball in from time. David Segui in the second. Top of the second, Driving no score. Right Chris Gomez with a runner Rondell at first. White. Doubles Can't over the head of Rondell White. Hand. Wally Rondell Joyner comes all the way around from first to score. And the Padres go up one to nothing. Trust me, he's in. Top of the third. Padres up three zip. Jim Bullinger facing Tony Gwynn, who extends his hitting streak to 11 games. He goes one for four in this one with his 32nd double. 2,722 career. 
career hits, moves him out of a tie with Lou Gehrig into 44th place all time. That's high rent stuff. Hamilton, meanwhile, cruising. Bottom of the ninth, up 8-2. FP Santangelo, the shot to left center. Steve Finley, nice running catch. Three hitters later, Hamilton gets Ryan McGuire to ground to third. Ken Caminiti backhands it and throws him out. That's why his goal glove is made of gold. And Big Daddy's wife smiling as her husband pitches his seventh career. Donnie Damon cracking it. And it's a home run. 25th on the year for Mo. Same inning, 4-2 Sox. Runners on second and third for Shane Mack. Benitez charging to make the catch. Collides with Johnny Damon, but holds on. Top of the fourth, Garcia Parr. Likely the rookie of the year in the American League. His 18th homer. Remember, he's a shortstop. Sox go on a win by the score of 10-3.